Hello everybody, hi squad, hi grade one, nice to see you, happy Monday. I know it's a bit rainy out there, but I hope you had the chance to get out for a walk and enjoy a bit of fresh air. Um, we went and collected some rocks on the weekend and Will was painting them. So he painted some pink rocks and some yellow and green rocks. Just gave us a little fun activity to do to collect some rocks. And so I'm just gonna add them to our scene here and put them down there near our plant. Today we are going to read a story by the same author who wrote Thank You Bear. So if you remember, we read the book Thank You Bear with the box idea. Um, that author was Greg Folly, and I found another book by him that I didn't even know existed actually. Um, a friend of mine saw the video and she said, oh, you've got to read I Miss You Mouse. And I was like, I miss you mouse. I know about Thank You Bear. I know about Good Luck Bear. I know about Don't Worry Bear, but I did not know about I miss you, mouse. Isn't that so sweet? And I thought it was a perfect story today because I miss all of you very, very, very much. I miss you, miss you, miss you. And so when I saw this, I thought this is the perfect book to read today. So here we go. I miss you, mouse. And it's a, it's a lift the flap book. So there's some secret little hidden pictures. One day, a little mouse found a note from her friend Bear. Mouse thought of something and then she went to find him. Oh, look at the note. I miss you, Mouse. Mouse looked up in the tree. Is Bear up there, she asked. I've got something very important to tell him. Who do you think is hiding? Look at the clue. Doom. Not up here, said Monkey. Mouse looked over the hills. Is Bear down there, she asked. I've got something very important to tell him. There's a little clue, who could it be? Ah, uh, not down here, said Groundhog. Mouse went through the tall grass. Has Bear been here, she asked. Can you see the little clue? Who's hiding? Bunny, not through here, said Bunny. Mouse checked behind the rocks. Is Bear back there, she asked. Oh, big rock must be hiding. Not back here, said Elephant. Mouse looked in a pile of leaves. Is Bear under here, she asked. Oh, there's a little clue right there. One of my favorite animals. Fox. Not under here, said Fox. Mouse went to the pond. Is Bear around here, she asked. I saw a Bear in the strawberry patch, said Turtle. Look at that cutie out for a swim. Mouse hurried to the strawberry patch. Is Bear in there, she asked. I've got something very important to tell him. Is there a clue on this page? Maybe it's, oh, it's only me, said Owl. Mouse went home. She was disappointed until, <gasps> Bear, she said. I've got something very important to tell you. What is it, asked Bear. What do you think that mouse wants to tell Bear? Take a moment and think, hmm, what does mouse want to tell Bear? I want, I'm gonna count to three and you're gonna yell it out. One, two, three. Let's see. I miss you too. Hands up if you knew that's what mouse was gonna say. I miss you too. Aw, oh, such a nice book. I miss you, mouse. Now, friends, this book gave me the idea for some books that you can work on at home, which is to make your own Lift the Flap book. And it's actually quite simple how you can make some Lift the Flaps. So one thing that you can do is you can take a piece of paper and then another piece of paper and just glue the bottom on. See how this is a piece of paper and it's glued on there? And then fold it over. That's an easy way to make a flap. Then you can flip it up. Another way that you can do it is make it the way that the flaps were made in the book. So what you do is you take a harder piece and you just fold the edge and make a flip up. And a great um, material to use for those flips is a cardboard box, a thin cardboard box. So if you remember our squad chart that I made with a Kleenex box, this is the perfect kind of material that you could use to make a lift the flat book. So I'm gonna work on a lift the flat book to show you tomorrow. 
and do some problem solving. And then I can talk about what problems I ran into and how I, how I fixed them, but you can do the same. So I don't wanna show you too much. I want you to think at home, okay, how can I make my own Lift the Flat book? and come up with a fun story about who or what or anything that could be hiding under the flaps. And what's really neat about this book is the flaps kind of all go different directions. So they open out, they open down. I think there was, yeah, they open up, which is really fun. So I miss you grade ones. I miss you squad. I hope that everyone is doing their best, taking care of each other, working together, cooperating and being kind to families. Um, you know, we are, a lot of us are staying home, but not everybody can stay home. So we think about everybody. We think about those who are and those who can't, and we send much love. So Miss Sweetman loves you very much. I miss you very much. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.